Hey guys, it's Gareth, and in this short tutorial video, we're going to be looking at how you can set up tipping on Strexum. We've recently updated our tipping system on Strexum to now include StreamTip, Twitch Alert, and our own service, which means if you used something like Twitch Alert in the past for your donations, you can still do that. So the process is very simple. The first thing you'll need to do is connect the service to your account. You can do this by visiting the Tips Settings page found in the menu on the left, click Tips and then Settings. Immediately you'll see that there are three choices. We actually allow you to connect to all three if you so wished, but in this example we're just going to show you using the Strexum service. If you want to see the difference between the different services, we've created a table below so you can compare. So we need to click the Connect with Strexum button and that will launch a new window. The main thing that we need to do here is we need to put in our PayPal email address which is the account that people will be donating to. Next we have the currency. This is both the currency that people donate to you in and also the currency that appears in the alert on your overlay. I'm just going to keep this as US dollars. Now we have the minimum and maximum amount. Pretty self explanatory I think but it just means that the users can only donate within the threshold that you set. If the minimum amount is zero, there won't be a maximum limit. The description allows you to add a small line of text that users will see when visiting your Strexum tipping page. I'll just leave this as default. At the bottom of the page, we have a few toggleable options. The first being show recent donators. If this is set to disabled, any of your recent donations won't display on your tipping page. However, this doesn't affect anything in your overlay everything will still show there as it should. As an added option to Strexum, we add the feature to allow verified PayPal users. This feature adds an extra step and can help limit the number of chargebacks that you might get. And the final option is to block ban donators. This, is, this uses sorry, a list of known users who like to charge back and then prevents them from donating. So that's all the settings done. Once you're happy with them, just click the Save Changes button. The last thing you'll need to do is to make sure that you give the people the right link to donate. We've provided it beneath each service just so you can grab it easily. You'll then need to put that link in your Twitch panels or wherever else you need to so users can easily access that tipping page. If you want to add a tip to test the whole system, or if you just wanted to add some tips that users had donated before you actually connected an account for tipping, then you can do this by going to the tips page which is in the tips menu. On this page you can easily see how many tips you've had and how much. You can also manually search a donation as well as export that month's receipt for use in accounting or easier manipulation of data. So to add a tip, just click the Add Tip button in the username box. We just need to put the name of the user that donated to us. This is just for reference and will also show up on the alert if you decide to push one through. Then we have the amount, pretty self-explanatory. And lastly, the note. This is solely used for the overlay alert. We then have extended optional settings. This simply allows you to choose which service you receive the donation through and also what email sent it, as well as the transaction ID. These are really only there for better tracking of finances and donations. Now, if we want to send the donation through to the overlay, we need to make sure that the send through and alert checkbox is ticked and also ensure that our overlay is open either in our browser, just to test, or in our broadcast software like OBS or XSplit. Once we click add, the tip will be added and an alert will be sent through to the overlay. Now all that's left to do is to make sure that you have your alert set up the way that you want, which can be done from your overlay edit page. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to set up our tipping system. If you want to see more content like this in the future, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe so you can be notified when that content goes live. But for now, that is it. That's the tutorial over. I hope you enjoyed and we will catch you later. Thank you.